What is going on, and welcome back to Rebel Rescue with me, Foggy Plays on FM22. Unless, of course, it's your first time here, and then welcome. We're about to take on Cluj in the Champions League, and it should be an interesting one. We are one set of fixtures away from where we got knocked out last year, or last time we played in the Champions League. So hopefully, we can make it to the group stages this time, rather than getting knocked out and having to play in the Europa League. And then getting knocked out of the Europa League after the group stage and playing in two rounds of the Europa Conference League. Hopefully, we get to the Champions League group stages and then finish bottom but make money from it. So if you do want to enjoy this episode, do of course make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would make a massive difference to the channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So fellas, not much has happened since we were here last, except a 3-2 victory over Shamrock Rovers. Marion Prince scoring an own goal, which was less than ideal, shall we say. Um, quick, yeah, they're still satisfied with our defensive football. We have had a couple of players go down loan. Nobody else has come in, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, League-wise, we are still comfortably top of the league. Uh, 17 points clear of... Derry, we can only finish as low as fifth. We're almost guaranteed Europe already, which is fantastic. Um, and as I said, if we get through the game against Cluj, we'll then be taking on Michelin or Park. So it doesn't get any easier. Last year we played Basel. Or last, last time, not last year, because we didn't get into Europe last year. But last time out we played Basel. And that was the step that was a step too far for us. Um, against Cluj, I'm not a hundred percent sure what to expect. This, you know, they're a good side. Uh, Marion Prince is starting, even though he's playing a six point six six recently. Um, Pitaluga is on a seven point four six. We'll see how Prince gets on in the first game. Potentially won't start the second one. We're actually going to put O'Brien in. O'Brien wasn't fully fit when I picked the team. He is now though, so he is going to be. Getting the shout for today. Um, and it's pretty much the team we've been playing most recently. Um, Murphy is sitting on the bench because his form's dropped off just a smidge. Um, he's still young. So expectation is that he will, you know, at some point have a bad run. And it's, it's fine. We, we understand. That's everything that we expect. Um... We're playing them back to back. Leave your mark. I feel like that's just asking for sending offs. But we've done it now. Uh, first goal will be crucial. Uh, just in case of squad rotation. Great place. Everyone's delighted to be here. They're constantly asking me. What's, oh, your, your team seems to be quite happy. Like, yeah. We haven't lost a league. We haven't lost. A, I think it's. It's a league games. It's like 48 league games unbeaten. We've uh, we've been pretty good. Um, we did. I I did like freak out a little bit against Shamrock. Oh, when Afridi was offside. Anyway, did smash that into the side of the or into the side netting. Um, against Shamrock Rovers, so I was a little bit weary because I did have just a terror moment where I was like, oh, we're just going to concede like three goals. We're going to end up losing, and it's. We're going to get to like 49 games or whatever it is unbeaten. I'm just going to fall at the last hurdle uh, before we hit 50. But we have just taken the lead against Cluj. Uh, Whelan putting the ball in the back of the net. Ryan Coleman with the assist from Carlsberg's corner. Um, it seems like Cluj play a less physical style. Based purely on the fact that their players don't seem to have too much in the way of um, they're not overly tired is what I'm trying to say just doing an exceptionally bad job of doing it Boateng I haven't seen a Boateng in in a while it's been a while uh, we have won the ball back though Whelan's true from Casper oh it's a blatant blatant tackle uh, blatant foul should we say Whelan steps up to take I don't know why I'm saying Whelan Whelan puts the ball in the back of the net 
that is his 41st goal of the season. It's his 150th goal for Cork. What a great, was it 96,000 we spent on him or something? Something ridiculously low. 96,000. And the dude scored 150 goals in three and a half, two years, three years? Because he was here last season, the season before, and he came halfway through the season before that. So, I think we've, we've I, I think it's fair to say we've probably made our money on him. Um, the amount of money he's made for us has been delightful. So, we're just going to tell lads that we're, we're doing great. So, hopefully, they don't get complacent, because I didn't tell them not to. Um... It is a strong side. We have strong mentality. You know, we're pretty good. Nana Boateng. That's the one. Jeez, what a name. Nana Boateng. I love it. Carlsberg steps up to take the corner. Coleman couldn't get his header goal words, but Quigley's picked it up. What a ball across to Fabian. Unafriti puts it in the back of the net. We are 3 nil ahead. This is... Uh, much better than I was expecting. I'm having a look at the scores to see if I can see the uh, the game. Oh, Kustash gets clear. Quigley's picked it up. I do love, I do love my team. My team, oh, it's probably the best team I've, uh, maybe, maybe I'm not going to, do I want to say, best team I've ever put together. I don't think, I don't think it's the best team ever. But you know, it's up there. Vestigard. Oh, oh, oh. Hits the woodwork. That's our that's the first time we've hit the woodwork. That's fine. Mitchell Ander beating Pauk. Now uh, we haven't made any substitutions. We probably should. Uh Vestigard can come off for Onofriti. Or can move over. Onofriti can move to central mid or attacking mid. My god, I don't know how to speak. Um Tunde is coming on. Alton is gonna come on for O'Brien. And do we leave it at that for now? We uh, we do. We do. We do. No need to make three changes when we don't need to. Uh, Cluj do have a corner. Comfortably cleared by Coleman and Onofriti. We're in the armband today. Oh, Farnberger hasn't played in a while, actually. <laughs> Just occurred to me. I haven't been playing my captain recently. Probably not ideal to, to have your captain sitting out of the, the team. Um, O'Connor has been looking for a loan. Oh, Fabian. Not ideal. Um, O'Connor wanted to go on loan during the most recent transfer window. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find a club for him. But uh, yeah, he's he's a little bit upset, as you would expect. You know, there's not much we can really do about it. So. It's fine. Um, I'm going to make. Fabian is going to be a. Complete. Complete. Centre midfielder on attack. Uh, Zidane's going to come off for Murphy. And Tunde just puts that one over. Closure. Had, they've had four shots. One on target. I feel like they're going to get. A second shot on target. And it's going to be a goal. It's calling it now. Prins. Almost. Gee, lads. You're. Uh, we're good. There's no need to be doing that. Give me a. Give me a. Fucking heart attack. You know. Give me a. Give me a heart attack. I'm going to fucking die. That is a comfortable. 3-0 win. Against Cluj. Did not expect that. Um, What a performance. I am going to. Like I say, I think anybody who plays over an eight, if you just give them a, a pat on the head and say, you know what? You did fantastic. Congratulations. It makes a massive difference. The players seem to really react very well. To it. I'm glad I put Prins in because he actually played decently well. So we will be back in just a second for the second leg against uh, Cluj. So don't go anywhere. Why not? We win. We win. We're away from home. Go to Romania. 4 nil. Why not? Why not? We're going to win 4 nil. Right, fellas, it is time now for the second leg against Cluj. Michelin beat Pauk 2 0. So, if we can keep the victory that we have over Cluj, 
we'll be probably taking on Michelin in the next episode. We do have some injury concerns for this one. Um, Ono Sene picked up a knock before or in training during the week, so he's not available. Vincent Day, it just he's not fully fit, so he's going to sit this one out. He's still only played like one game since he arrived, so all that talk about how great he is. I've not really seen too much of him. Um, and Jake O'Brien is suspended. And uh, Denver Addis is going to sit on the bench. Played Nas uh, National League North football for the last two years. Gets to sit on the bench for a Champions League match today. I would imagine that's not something he was expecting to be able to say. He'd be able to tell his kids in the future that uh, he at least sat on the bench. For one Champions League game. We'll have to wait and see. If we make it any further. Of course. Uh, I'm going to send the assistant to that interview. Because there's no need for us to be going to interviews. When we don't need to. Um, so we haven't had too much in the way of disruption. For the week we had off. Uh, there was the injury to Osene. But that's been about it really. Um, if we can keep things... Obviously not, you know, conceding in the first seven minutes. If we can come out of this game still ahead and we make it into the next round, that would be fantastic. Oh, Quigley. Oh, my God. Oh, we are living on the edge, my friends. And we are, we're, we're playing positive. So we've not changed anything since we beat them 3-0 last week, apart from flew to Romania. Um. They're really. I'm going to encourage the lads because we haven't started great. You know, 12 minutes in, I feel like we're all being overrun. Um, there isn't. Oh, okay, I was going to say, Prince, all you have to do is just get there before um, anyone else. And he had the opportunity. Vestigard gets the ball through Kalsberg. How did that not go in? <laughs> how did that not hit the back of the net why is Alton playing a 6 are they blaming Alton for the goal no surely not okay oh. we are living on the edge so far and Adrian Pound put it in the back of the net Prince I don't know how he managed to keep, keep the ball out in the first part the first place this is they've had an injury after 16 minutes but they're two up um, Quigley gets the ball across finds nobody Murphy oh that was that was quite easy for the goalkeeper Hindreich uh, Kalsberg can he score a free kick oh he he can't okay the keeper got a touch on it looked like it hit the crossbar Um, little do I know Kalsberg's corner is cleared. We are uh, actually just, we're going to we're going to go attacking. Just you know, push forward a little bit more. We don't seem to be doing well at all. <laughs> this has been uh, much tighter than I was expecting. Zidane does intercept the ball, finds Whelan. Come on, Colum. Why are you okay? Mulder finds Whelan, gets across. Kalsberg slips it under the keeper. For his 22nd of the season. Let's settle the nerves a little bit. 2-1 on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. Just, you know. Just. We could definitely find another gear. Uh, you have the ability. You have the ability. I'm not happy with what I've seen in front of goal. Colin Whelan. He's one of those guys that... But just give him a little bit of a, a poke. Just be like, you're not doing as well as this you are. He, uh, he gets, he does better. I have found anyway. Uh, so normally what I do is I tell him to get his act together and play properly. And a lot of time he does go and score goals. I feel like uh, Quigley is getting sent off. Mm. I, I foresaw it coming. It's not ideal. Uh, Vestergaard is going to be sacrificed. Reese Griffin is going to come on. 
Um, can make the difference. Reese, this is your chance. This is your chance. Do we have another right back that we could actually play if we do make it through this? Let's go back to positive. You know, we are down to 10. Carlsberg. Alton just smashes it into the back of the net. 60 minutes in, we've made it 2 2 on the night. Down to 10 men, might I add. I feel like the team is just because of our dynamics. We just don't give up. We never, never surrender! Is essentially what we uh, what we do. Carlsberg, uh, the idea was good. Execution, not so much. That is comfortable for Prince. Mulder is also having a poor game. Unafriti is having a questionable game. Oh, they're down to 10 men as well now. That was such a unnecessary push. If I was Dan Petrescu, I would be like, are you fucking serious? Huh? Pushing for, for why? Um, I'm going to give Addis. I'm going to let Addis run around for 20 minutes. Go. See what he can do. Um, be interesting. To see, because I haven't, I haven't seen him play yet. This is the first time he's been in the team because he's he was not match fit when he arrived which is interesting because he's just come off a season of playing as a first team player oh Zidane just puts it wide it's you know it's one of those things you look at and you're like well how could you not be fully fit you oh my god that just worked perfectly for Kustash Kustash yeah, it's going to go back attacking. Um, give the lads a bit of encouragement. But yeah, like we've not really seen anything of Denver Addis. He's only been on three minutes. He is more of a second striker. Which if we were still playing a 4-2... Yeah, 4-2-4. Then I suppose that would kind of suit him more. He is more of a deep-lying playmaker. Deep-lying playmaker? Deep-lying uh, forward. Rather than kind of the... The focal point of the attack, which is what Whelan is good at. Um, but he's just he's gonna have a bit of a chance to run around for a bit. Hopefully, we can get a goal back. I know it's not essential because we'll still win regardless, but I want to win every game. Oh, well, it's a bit of encouragement. I know. We're... Go very attacking. They're not gonna score two goals. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. What have I done? Okay. That's gone wide. We have gone very attacking. I do want... Okay, we're not going to get a goal. Addis did absolutely nothing. Uh, we won the first leg. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, Alton. You were great. Roy. Disappointed. So the next set of episodes will be, I'm guessing, by the score that I saw, Mitchelland, who were 2-2 at the time. So it'll probably be Mitchelland in the next episodes. And that could be the decider between it well, could be. It's going to be the decider on whether we get into the Champions League or the Europa League. But we do need the money. So either way, I am happy as a pig in shit. So if you have enjoyed this episode, do of course make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below how you think we're going to do against Mitchelland and I'll catch you in the next one.